So rolling out the extension cord to Singapore isn't viable. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee because apparently, apparently, connecting an extension cord pretty much from Northern Territory, where you're going to build a whole lot of solar panels, to Singapore. Where is the Singapore's over here? There we go, yep. It's not viable. <laughs> Apparently it's not viable. Funny that, hey. So let, let's let's look at this. This this brilliant idea by the, the you know superior class here of Aussies, you know, the, the billionaires. So billionaire says Aussie Australia to Singapore solar plan now unviable. I mean do you think they did this just to write something off tax? That's what some people are saying. And to get some media spin? Hey. So Plans to use a 4,200-kilometer power cable to send clean energy from Australia to Singapore are no longer commercially viable, according to one of the project's billionaire investors. A review of Sun Cable's $30 billion proposal concluded the project should ditch an ambition to export electricity and focus instead on using a huge planned solar and battery facility to feed green industries at home according to Andrew Forrest's Squadron Energy Unit, which holds a 25% stake in the developer. Sun Cable entered into voluntary administration last week after a disagreement between Forrest and tech tycoon Mike Cannon-Brooks over funding and the plans to send clean power overseas. Forrest is considering a potential offer for the company, a person familiar with the details said last week. Squadron Energy continues to believe in the vision for a game-changing solar and battery project in the Northern Territory's Barclay region. Yeah, well, I mean, you can believe in a vision uh, as much as you want. I mean, it's just a vision. It's like the vac- what, what, you know, Elon Musk's bloody vacuum train that's never going to eventuate to anything. Or look at the, the, you know, the what, Hyperloop that he built in... <laughs> no, sorry, the tunnel system he built with just driving Teslas around in a tunnel at CES. Oh, boy, wasn't that awesome. You know, it's the vision is, it's easy. That's the easy part. It's actually turning into reality, which is hard. And then there's physics, transporting power that great a distance. How much are you going to lose? What's the cost of maintaining that infrastructure going to be? Is it worth it? Would it be cheaper to just offset the carbon from burning coal in Singapore? Or maybe going, I don't know, nuclear then you don't need huge battery packs to run it at night time. This, I get the feeling a lot of this is just for you know ESG ratings and bullshit. I really do. And that's going to waste so many resources. We're, future generations are going to look back at our pathetic little attempts to try and mitigate our impact on the environment with you know wind farms and bloody solar panels, as we would, you know, primitive medieval doctors putting leeches on your face to fix a headache. It's, it's going to be the same thing. At least the leeches you could use them for, you know, fishing bait, and you're not going to get silicosis when you have to dispose of all the panels. Anyway. Squadron Chairman John Hartman said, the unit, Australia's biggest renewables developer, has it actually developed anything yet? Is focused on helping the country become a green energy exporting, energy exporting superpower by generating renewable energy to produce green hydrogen and green ammonia. There's been widespread industry skepticism over the wild ambition of the Sun Cable plans, which include proposals to build the world's largest solar farm and a giant battery facility that will export electricity to Singapore via a high-voltage undersea cable that's more than five times longer than major existing connectors like the Nor- um, Norway to UK North Sea link. Forrest is seeking to transform his Fortescue Metals Group, a key global iron ore supplier, into a major producer of green metals and an exporter of clean hydrogen. Forrest Fortescue Futures Industry aims to start producing 15 million tons a year of green hydrogen from renewable generation by 2030. So there we go, guys. So let's... well. Let's uh, have a bit of a talk about this one. Uh, I'm a little skeptical about the green hydrogen, if it will actually stack up. I think the ammonia is more 
potential, particularly for long-haul shipping. Uh, but we'll have to see. I mean, running a cable from Australia to Singapore, yeah, it just seemed crazy. I mean, you've also got, think about it, you've got all that embodied energy in the cable itself that you've got to build. This is stuff you don't need if you just build power generation there. Oh, well, this, this is going to be the future, everyone. This is where it's going, and it's going to drive up the cost of living for a lot of us. Just Just wait and see. Because remember, our impact globally here in Australia is insignificant from a, envir- a climate change standard. But I would argue that our ability to develop research and technology, we generally punch well above our weight. Now, if we are to encourage business development and innovation in this country, we need cheap power and a good quality of life to get people living here. If we don't have that, well, we might miss out on opportunities that might actually have long-term impacts on our ability to build clean and efficient energy. Maybe I'm just getting too old and cynical. What do you reckon? Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know your opinions in the comments below and check out Heiser Bim and Heiser Does for other videos that I discuss things. And if you want to support us, you can financially on YouTube or Patreon using our referral links, buying our pocket squares or calling us if you need an architect. Take care, guys. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next episode of Heiser Says. Bye for now. Running a cable to Singapore. I mean, I guess the dream sounded nice. But wouldn't you rather run a cable, I don't know, to Darwin as well? Maybe Brisbane?